Hey guys, it's Nina and Kat with Read Something, Write Something, and like every other day, we're going to start out with a sonnet. Sonnet 9 today. Is it for fear to wet a widow's eye that thou consumest thyself in single life? Ah, if thou issueless shalt hap to die, the world will wail thee like a makeless wife. The world will be thy widow, and still weep that thou no form of thee hast left behind, when every private widow well may keep by children's eyes her husband's shape in mind. Look what an unthrift in the world doth spend, shifts but his place, for still the world enjoys it. But beauty's waste hath in the world an end, and kept unused the user so destroys it. No love toward others in that bosom sits, that on himself such murderous shame commits. Alright, so sonnet nine. Um, my book today is part of a larger series. Um, a lot of people haven't heard of it before. I was recommended this book series by a friend. And I will be completely honest, I haven't quite finished it yet. Um, I have finished the first three books in the Kissed by an Angel series, but I have not finished, I think there's two more out, two or three. Um, but yeah, basically this book is about a girl named Ivy who believes in angels. And she meets this boy and she really didn't think he liked her. Boy. Yeah, boys. It's definitely a teenage little, like, romance novel type of thing. Um, and, yeah, so she meets this boy at her new school, and everybody kept telling her that he liked her, but she didn't believe him. And then, finally, they actually do start dating. And that's not really giving anything away, considering that, well, the big shocker comes after that. So, anyway, basically, after that, you find out that she is, she has a stepbrother because her mom got remarried and so her and her brother are now living with her stepfather and her stepbrother in their really big nice house like they're super rich and her family wasn't very well off before. Um, so yeah, basically it's just, I don't know, I went through like pretty much an emotional roller coaster. like one of my roommates came home, um, when I was reading, like, the last three pages, and I was, like, standing in the middle of my dorm room, and I was just, like, bawling my eyes out, standing in the middle of my dorm room as I was reading up these last pages. She's a very emotional reader. I, I am. <laughs> I kind of am. Um, so, yeah, definitely check it out. Um, it's a very quick read. I read the first three books in three days. Is that all three, or is that just one? This is all three. The first three. Yeah. I mean, it's... It's got pretty big font, though. Like, it's that big. I mean, it's a pretty quick read in terms of, like, difficulty level. Um, so if you just need something for a fun read right before bed or something, um, definitely check it out. And an update on our word of the day from yesterday that I said I was going to use. I did not. I did not have a good enough reason to use Bonafide. So... Yeah, I failed the challenge. I'm sorry, guys. I'm a failure. <laughs> Word for the day today is boondoggle, which is a noun, and it's an unnecessary or wasteful activity. So, use that. It's also, according to this, um, in reference to a braided leather cord made and worn as a decoration by Boy Scouts, which, since I am not a Boy Scout, I was not aware of. And... I am now, so use it, boondoggle, whether in reference to the Boy Scout cord or unnecessary or wasteful activity. Work is a boondoggle. Yeah. It sure is. See? But you get paid. So I just that. use, yeah, I don't get paid nearly enough. Not for what I do. Okay, <laughs> so I've used the word. So I'm good for the next 24 hours. Now it's your turn. Now it's your turn. All right, read something. Write something. Bye.